How are you doing people? Hope you're well, hope you're training hard. Okay, I've got my controversial hat on today because I saw a video that had been doing the rounds and it was an interview between Dr. Peter Attia, who is a fitness and longevity expert, and Dr. Rhonda Patrick, who is a specialist in mitochondrial metabolism and mitochondrial biogenesis. I'm sure you'll know mitochondria are like the battery cells of the muscles. So basically, the more you have, the better. And they are generated at a rapid pace with intense exercise or any exercise at all on a sliding scale. So this interview was about the 80-20 rule. In other words, Dr. Attia recommends that 80% of your cardio training volume should be in zone two, which is a sort of conversation type pace. And only 20% of the cardio volume should be at the higher intensity, perhaps if you're training VO2 max. And he bases that on his experience with elite athletes. And he recommends people follow this 80-20 rule in their own training. However, I thought it was important to point out a couple of things because that could be misleading. Elite athletes, like for example, an elite cyclist, will be doing hours and hours of cycling a day. And their volume of training is no comparison to someone who is just trying to squeeze in half an hour, four times a week. So I think the issue with that is that an elite athlete's training schedule doesn't really translate to a busy person that's just trying to fit in four times 20 minutes or four times 25 minute sessions a week. If the person with less time available was adhering to an 80-20 rule, far too much of their training would be at the low intensity. Now, Dr. Attia recommends around three hours of cardio a week. And of course, 80% of that is at training zone two. For me, I would say that the person that has less time available would be better off having a high intensity interval training session, trying to maintain zone three or above as long as you can. It's gonna take a lot less time Four 25 minute sessions a week of HIIT workouts is actually training pretty hard. And that's only a total of an hour and 40 a week. And this point was actually made in another interview with Dr. Martin Gibala and Rhonda Patrick about this difference between elite training schedule and an average person with limited time. High intensity interval training is gonna produce a massive mitochondrial response in that time available. Yeah, so I just wanted to make the video because it, it could easily be misinterpreted this 80-20 rule. I'm sure it's completely accurate for elite athletes, but when less time is available, you've gotta make the most of your time and get the most bang for your buck. Let me know your thoughts. Programs coming out soon, designed to lose fat and gain muscle. Got a couple of tough training sessions coming up for time. Should be good. See you then.